This is the video review for Transmetal's Optimal Optimus from Beast Wars. He does have a couple vehicle modes. As you can see here, this is supposed to be an armored carrier mode. This is what happens when uh, you try to please the fans and give them truck and monkey. And it's, like I said, it's supposed to be an armored carrier. This is the form he took um, when he tried to absorb Optimus's essence to keep it alive or his spark on the cartoon, much like uh, Dragon Megatron was Beast Wars Megatron with Megatron's spark inside of him. Um, like I said, this is an armored carrier mode. Um, it does have some some missile launchers, um, and it does roll, so I guess that's a success. Um, but it does look kind of dorky. Um, his other vehicle mode is a jet. Pull his arms off for this. And flip his chest around. We have to unhook the chest here and rotate the chest up and in. Like that. And then peg these back on. And we pull the cockpit down and forward. Like so. And he put his arms out. Straighten out the legs. Like this and flip the wheels up. And you flip out the wings. And then surprise, you kind of have a jet. Let's see if I can't get a little farther away. I mean, you can also, if you'd like, make the arm, pull the arms out a little further um, for a jet mode. Give him a huge wingspan. I think you have Opto Optimus' jet mode. It probably looks a little bit more like a jet than the armored carrier. It looks like a car. He does have thrusters in the bottom of his feet. But still, you know. It's more of a, it's a jet because we say so. And they want to give you more value. This is... Oh, he does have a robotic monkey mode. So let's go ahead and see what we can't do to get to that. Let's pull the arms down on their hinges. I like to flip these up like this and down so they go back like that. Um, take the cockpit and stick it pretty much where it was before. Actually, actually, before I take it back, before you do that, you want to pull it up and rotate this whole piece and stick the cockpit back up. And then, um, look at how big this guy is. And then rotate this down and around, and you can flip that up. And then there's a little button right here that lets you flip the backpack down. So he's kind of an armored monkey. And then you shorten the legs here at the knee. You can push the legs in and like that. Flatten out the feet. And fix his arms so they're facing forward. And there you have his monkey mode. And if you'd like, you can leave this pointing up, but it looks a little silly. Granted, no more silly than a monkey with guns over his shoulders, but but there you go. Um, it does have missiles here that you can plug into this that launch. In any of the modes, you can launch the missiles. Uh, there's a little tab back here that when you pull it, lights up. And you pull it back a little farther and it will fire the missiles. Going to robot mode, what you want to do is, again, straighten up the legs, extend them at the knee, come up, Back 
pack up. Open up the shoulders. Flip the wheel down. Flip the robot head, or the monkey head in. Pull the wheel up and open it like this. Again, lift up this and the cockpit and rotate the whole figure around at the waist. Put the cockpit back down. And you want to rotate. Oh, that, that's his robot mode gun. It pegs in up here. Rotate this whole assembly around the top and plug it in like this. And then close the shoulders up. Now you want to rotate the shoulders up actually like this and peg them in so they're sitting a little higher up. down and flip the fins back again Look at the wings I guess not really fins I open up his arms and flip the thumb around so it's more where it should be and back here you just flip his load head up again he he lights up the eyes light up green the middle of the chest lights up yellow, and the two launchers light up red. Um, he can hold, let just turn his elbows like this, and then his gun does peg onto there, and then he can hold it like a rifle. Uh, the missiles again store here. He does come with four missiles, I've only got two, just in the clips there. Um, his head turns, arms to the elbows. You can, if you want, you can pull his arms out at the elbows just like you could in jet mode. You can deploy his wings if you'd like. Now one of the things he also has on his arms here, this little trigger right here does pop these panels off. It's a panel assembly, which you can then, if you want, peg on to the top of his shoulders. got it pegged on it all holds together up here but I never understood that it just makes his shoulders look kind of makes his shoulders taller but then leaves him with these skinny skinny forearms and I think they look much better with the with the armor down here just staying on his arm but it's a neat feature if you want to make him look a little bigger or taller or more imposing or like a girl it's like shoulder pads um, Again, elbow articulation, um, his head turns, shoulders, elbows, and also elbows also rotate out like this. And he does have wrists, which again are a little bit more poseable. If you, I guess if you take the uh, if you take the the armor off, uh, his fingers they're all one piece, but they do move. His thumb moves. Um, ratchets out and forward, front and back on the waist. Got swivels at the knee, ratchets at the knee actually, and you can kind of swivel his feet as you could in all the other modes. Um, his cockpit does open. Uh, nobody really might be able to fit a small little figure in there if you'd like. But there he is, Transmetal Optimal Optimus.